finally, my last VGC tournament that I've done so far video is here today for you all. <laughs> I've been talking about this for the past couple of weeks and I've been kind of slagging, okay? I apologize for that. But today we will be talking about my Pokemon Showdown VGC tournament that I participated in. It was a single elimination tournament um, that just happened to be in one of like the VGC room and I decided to participate in it. So this time I'll actually be able to show you the battles because this is a showdown. I have replays, so I'll have the replays for you in the next part of the video. Um, I will show you guys my team right now. I do want to note that this, like, this tournament happened, like, the middle of May, I think that's when it was. It was somewhere around in May. So it's been a while since I've actually done this tournament, uh, and this team is, like, version 2 of this, like, of, like, the Lugia Registeel core that I've been building. Since I used this team in the, in the tournament, I'm on, like, version, like, 10, <laughs> right? So, like, this team is so obsolete, like I said, it's been so long since the video was supposed to come out and that I've literally on like version 10 of like my current BGC team. So that says a lot. So it says I'm invested in this uh, for at least a long while, right? Um, but I just haven't been able to participate in anything recently and I haven't had the time to like fully have a team down that I feel comfortable with and then translating that over to the actual games. So honestly, like I, I still think this 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 tournament was was good for me. Like it was a good motivating factor because after the devastating loss that had in the regional, that you you know link in the I, I don't remember what the I icon is um, for my previous uh, BGC journey, um, which was a regional here uh, in Puerto Rico. Let's go watch that. Let me know what you guys thought. This video might be a little long, uh, similar to my past BGC content. It's just that there's a lot. Of battles right and so that obviously makes the videos longer so I do apologize for that but I do hope that you enjoy the content and are here and let me know in the comments what you guys thought about my plays or, or my mindset or, or my team which obviously it still sucks uh, but like I said this is like eight versions ago <laughs> of what I currently have and I'm already working on version 11 so you know like <laughs> it happens sometimes um, but that's gonna be it uh, for this part of the video, I will see you guys in the replays. Alright, so my round one opponent versus Preschooler Mia, I guess is the person's name. Uh, so this is my squad, and, and as I mentioned earlier in the first part of the video, uh, I, this is like version like 3, maybe, of like the team, and I'm on like version 10 or 11 at this point. So, I, I <laughs> just, this team is like way, way, way before even anything I have right now. So, for this tournament, um, I... I'm trying to remember exactly what the sets on my mons were. I know I had Assault Vest on Rillaboom, and I think Citrus Berry... Well, okay, so Assault Vest on Rillaboom, Citrus Berry on for a Giraffe, the Booster Energy on Screamtail, Leftovers on Registeel. I don't remember the Lugia set, and I think my Ting Lu had um, Lumberry on it, but I'm not quite sure, because I don't remember. Um, so this first <laughs> opponent has a mono electric team, obviously, as you can clearly tell, um, and I have a Tinglu. So, <laughs> um, honest, a Tinglu and a Terra Ground uh, Lugia, because this is like back when I was using Terra Ground Lugia. So because of that, like I literally have two perfect answers against his team. So I basically just decided that I was gonna play around with that kind of mentality. Plus, uh, the fact that Rillaboom helps me out against all his electric types and also the Rotom and basically just anything because I'm, I'm tanky like that, you know, it's a, a tanky uh, Rillaboom. This person actually ended up commenting in the chat that like, why would I have a Team Lu, okay? He's just trying to have some fun and he's out here playing, facing a ground type when he has a mono electric team. But it is what it is, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and, and, and play this out so that you guys, so I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, my leads for this battle were Rillaboom and Lugia because I'm trying to get rid of terrain if it does show up and also start setting up my Lugia um, in tandem because if I get enough Calm Minds on, on my Lugia then I don't have to worry about them right on as much. Um, so I think that's what it is. Okay, I, I'm gonna try to, like this is the first one and I watched it a little bit ago so I don't quite remember everything that happened in it but what I'm gonna do is that, that for every subsequent battle um, I'll watch it before I record it so that way I can have a, a fresh mindset of what the fuck happened and then go from there. So. Without further ado, let's see what happened in this match. So as I mentioned, Rillaboom and Lugia were my leads for this battle. This person chose Thunderous and Maridon for their leads. Um, I'm gonna get this Jurassic Terrain because Rillaboom is slower than Maridon. 
And I'm gonna tear out my Lugia initially just so that I have the advantage because I'm, I'm not trying to get Thunder Wave by no fucking Thunderous. I'm not trying to get, you know, Electric type blasted the first turn, right? Um, and I'm gonna fake out the Maradon because most Maradons even to this day don't run, you know, Cobra Cloak or anything of the sort. They're literally just there for damage. So I'm not worried about it. Um, and I'm gonna start setting out my Lugia with some Calm Minds uh, just to deal with this Maradon in the long run. Um, Thunderous does make a, a fancy play where he goes for like train trap, basically to counter Rillabooms. Um, and then I'm gonna protect and switch into my Ting Lu. Uh, I didn't, okay, I didn't call this, okay? I didn't expect the Maridon going for Volt Switch here at all, okay? That wasn't my play at all, okay? I, I just figured I'm gonna weaken this Maridon special attack as much as possible. I don't expect it to go for a dragon move at this state of the game. I'm not too worried about it going for Draco Meter or anything of the sort. So I just said, I'm gonna play it safe. Let me lower this thing's um, special attack as much as possible uh, and then continue setting up my loot. Because at this point, I'm at you know, full eight max HP with two of my multi skills intact. So I'm not too worried. It's not gonna do as much damage and I can fully set up as much as possible. I think I can look at the items. In the okay, I'm safety goggles. I think this was back then because I was trying to counter Amoongus's from putting me to sleep. But I have a better item nowadays than, than this crap. So anyways, um, and oh, and I was one berry. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna get another combine. They're gonna go for the Wild Bolt Storm. So like I said, nothing is gonna affect me at this point. They are gonna switch out from Rhydon with to Raging Bolt. Uh, I do believe I do go for another combine on the Lugia. And I went for Payback, if I don't recall. Yes, so I went for Payback. I honestly, I don't know why I went for Payback. I think I was just like, expecting, because Thunder Race is flying. So I don't really think, I, I don't have any moves to hit it properly. So Payback was like my only option here. Uh, like I said, I don't even have Team Loop like this anymore in my in my latest version of the team that I'm playing around with. So like this, this moveset is trash. <laughs> okay, anyways, so th that was my best call because it, it's, it's off the ground, so I can't do much with it. I could have done something where I hit the Maridon slot, but I knew it was gonna switch out anyways because it couldn't touch anything because it was locked in. Because at this point, it was specs. So I just said, I, I don't really think that I should have targeted that slot, and that's my bad. But regardless, it was pretty good. Uh, I do, like I said, I do go for the protect here um, to, to scout what they're gonna do. Uh, they, I do go for the stopping time. I'm surprised that I'm faster than his Iron Hands because my Tinglu is very, very slow. So this must be like a really slow um, Iron Hands because I don't have that much speed on mine. So uh, they are gonna go for the Rain Punch. It's gonna do a lot of damage because of the Pork Drive, um, which means they're gonna get a lot of their HP back. Uh, I guess I, I'm gonna switch out, go back to Rizalum just to get rid of the Electric Train. Now his Iron Hands is pretty good. Uh, I go for the Earth Power, which does a lot of damage. The Weather Ball doesn't do anything because there's no, you know, there's no weather. Uh, they do go for the Rain Punch, and I live it without any problem. And at this point, they basically forfeited because there was nothing they could do. Uh, Lugia is now faster than most of their team, and I'm already set up. Like they literally have other special attackers. Uh, I can I can fake out with Rillaboom at this point, kill the Iron Hands, and I'm basically set up. They could have gone for the crit, and honestly, Maridon still hits relatively hard with, you know, Dragon Moves. So, unless, I don't recall, they have Dragon Moves, right? Yeah, they have Dragon Moves and Dazzling Leaf. I get, they could have just played that out, because I have no recovery on my Lugia, except for the Grassy Terrain. So, they could have played that out. I don't remember what my last Mon in this battle was. It might have been for a Giraffe. Um, just to get some Trick Room going on because my, my Pokemon are technically slower than, well, the Maridon and the Thunderous are faster than my Lugia. So, um, I could have gotten that play or I, I don't remember what my last one was, essentially. That's a side play. Um, but overall, it was pretty good. I thought, I thought I did very well. The solid start to the tournament. I get that, like, by this point, I have I hadn't been really playing too much. Like, I, I played a couple battles on the ladder. And this was the first time I was trying to get serious with, with another team, um, with a new version of the team, because it was like version three or four of my of my Lugia teams. Uh, and I'm like I said, I'm version like 10 or 11 at this point. I've, I've been making so many adjustments. So overall, it was a good start. Uh, and like I said, this is like a single elimination bracket. So one loss means you're out of the tournament. So any win I get is gonna make me excited and hyped. So that's what happened. All right, my round two opponent. I will admit, I did watch, obviously, because like I said, I'm gonna watch these ahead of time before I commentate over them. 
this was a, I will admit, a very, 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 very lucky game on my end. I do feel bad about it, looking back on it, okay? I should not have won this game, but I did, and I will take that in strikes. So, now, my mindset has changed in how I would play this type of matchup, um, looking at it the way they, they are, right? So, for this particular tournament, I am leaning more on my Water Terra Red Steel because it basically, as soon as I get a defense boost, it handles the Urshifu, the Kyogre, the Serena, uh, and the Chim Pao. Um, I am worried about the Raging Bolt, obviously, if I do go for the Terra Water. But overall, I think I'm still fine, right? I'm, I'm not as worried about the Raging Bolt coming in, especially if I do think that they're going to have the, the concern over the Rillaboom and the, the Ting Lu uh, as my options. This is a Rillaboom, Registeel, uh, Fur Giraffe, and uh, Screamtail matchup. Now, I will admit, like I said, the first turn was atrocious, okay? Personally speaking, it was bad. So here's what happened. I lead, or they lead Kyogre and Serena. I lead Rillaboom and Registeel. Now, because of the fact that they are using Kyogre uh, with Queenly Majesty available, I can't fake out this Kyogre here. Uh, and I can't go for Grassy Glide because it's technically considered a priority move in Grassy Terrain. So I basically am screwed a little bit here because I can't I can't stop this thing. And I, I do, I'm trying to set up with my Registeel, which I can do. Um, now, so they go off immediately for the Water Spout Terra Grass, which is, does a shit ton of damage to both of my mods, specifically Registeel, which is like my, it's a fucking tank. I don't know why it took so much, um, but it is uh, Mystic Water, I think. I think it was Mystic Water, right? Yeah, it was Mystic Water. So that's probably why it took so much. Uh, I know I'm in the, I know they're in the rain, but my Registeel is meant to take on special attackers more than physical attackers, uh, unless I start setting up my iron defenses. So this was ridiculously way too much. So what ends up happening is that they do have Taunt on Serena, so I'm not able to set up. And I probably should have read that, right? They, they know that Registeel requires a setup turn, so I should have just double attacked the Kyogre here. Um, Cause they go for the Taunt, my Registeel can't do anything. I do go for the knockoff just to get rid of its you know, fire power. Um, and I can't go for iron defense. I, like I said, I should have gone for the body press here because even though I don't have as much investment in my defense uh, for this tournament in particular, um, the iron defense uh, doesn't get me anywhere, whereas body press at least does more damage to the Kyogre, making it easier to take on in the long run. And then I'm not gonna leave Registeel in because like I said, that's my my key Pokemon here, and I if I can't set up yet, I'm not gonna risk it. So what I end up doing is I get rid of Registeel, bring in Screen Tail. Uh, it's gonna get the the speed boost here, and I do think they go for Orange Pulse and they miss, and I also avoid a Triple Axle. On the, but this is after like he gets a crit on my Rillaboom. Um, but I, I dodge his triple axle, I go for the U turn on Kyogre, that the thing's gone. Um, my Scream Tail is safely in, and then I go for the Bridge Drop. Like I said, I'm not having my other mods in here that could potentially help me here. Um, I could have brought Ting Lu, honestly. I, I'm thinking back on it, I could have brought Ting Lu over um, Scream Tail potentially. So what ends up happening is that I disable the. the the water spout, which was bad because um, they're not choice at any way, so I should have just gone for something else. Um, and then I go for the Dazzling Gleam just to get a little bit more chip damage here. Um, I could have gone for the Trick Room there, but I didn't do it because I, I didn't really plan for it. Um, I go for the Thunder Wave here, which I'm just trying to stop this thing from attacking as much as possible. Um, and they do miss my first drop. And this is what I mean, like, at this point, that was, that should have been game right then, right? There's, I, I shouldn't, I should have lost at this point. Because Screen Tail is down, Serena um, does enough damage to where the Orange Pulse kills me outright, you know. Um, and then I'm stuck with a Registeel that I can't set up and Rillaboom at the end. But because I dodged it, you know, I go for the Trick Room, so now I'm faster than everything else. And now I can go into my Registeel and then go for the Terra Water, uh, protect my Fur Drop, go for the Iron Defense, now I'm faster than everything else. Um, and then I avoid another orange impulse. However, I do think that that one I would have I would have lived because at this point You're not hitting with your strongest attack, which is you know the, the Water spout um, in the rain um, and I'm terra water now, which means I resist it 
um, a lot better. So I would have lived that. So that one, while it does matter to some extent, is not as bad as the other one. And I do make a play here, okay? I know they're gonna protect because now I can kill them without any issues. Um, I'm in trick room and I'm slower than everything else even though they're, they're paralyzed. And I killed the, I think I almost killed the Tarina here because I, I, I didn't set up enough um, defense. Um, but now we're good to go. Um, they, 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 they protected so um, we're good to go. Now the Dazzling Gloom kills it. I killed the Kyogre. And the last two mons are the Urshifu and the Champao. Now, this is what I meant where as long as I set up my Registeel properly, I basically win because you if you go for the close combat, you're not going to be hitting as hard because I'm, I'm boosted. And if you go for the Surgeon Strikes, then I resist it, um, which means it's not hitting as hard, and then I can Oko you back. Plus, we're still in Trick Room, and it is Choice Card, which means it can't protect. Which is what ends up happening, is that I go for the Helping Hand and uh, the uh, Body Press. At plus two, with the Sword of Ruin, I, and this, the Sir Shifu is fucking dead. It's literally just gone. Bye-bye. Um, and then the Chain Pod does take care of my or my Parade Draft. But at this point, the game is pretty much done because then I can bring in my Rilla Boom. Even if they go for the for the Protect, it's fine. Um, and I actually kind of read it. Um, <laughs> it was, this play that I just did wasn't necessary at all. Okay, let me just say that. This is a completely unnecessary play. But I knew they were going to Protect. So I still go for the Fake Out. But just in case, I do go for another Iron Defense on my Registeel. Just so I can guarantee in case I can't do much to this Champ Out. Um, but I, I still have party with Grassy Glide, so it's fine. Um, they do go and kill my Rillaboom, but that's fine. I really didn't need it at this point. Um, and then I go for the body price, and we're good to go. So like I said, this battle, I do admit, I should have lost. There's, I, I should not have won this battle. But it is one of those things where, like, sometimes these things just happen, you know? In, in Pokemon, it's, it's a hack space game. Like, you can strategize as much as possible. And I did make um, adjustments accordingly, right? It's not like I didn't plan this properly right as soon as i started getting those advantages um so but i do think i should have lost them. there's no reason for me to have moved on in this tournament this one should have been my my end game i'm done goodbye so i signed you're done so i think you're lucky i will admit and i still don't think that screen tail was even necessary at all uh in this battle i should have just brought tinglu um and it would have gone like a billion times better but it is what it is Moving on to the next one. All right, so my round three opponent is this person with this interesting Calyrex Ice team. Um, now, again, this is like months ago, right? So this team is bad against it. Um, well, it's a bad team in general, okay? But <laughs> the whole reason why I'm saying this is because I've been with the mindset of having Registeel deal with physical threats such as the Calyrex Ice and not have to rely on my restricted, which is Lugia, against those types of teams. Unless I know for a fact that I have a Terra, or they have a Terra that's weak against Lugia. Um, so that's that's my reason. So that's why I'm going to be having Registeel as my main offensive threat. Um, but either way, this team is not the greatest, okay? So I I think, if I remember correctly, and I, I watched this a little bit ago, so it's a little bit more fresh in my mind. Um, this team, I use Registeel, Tinglu, uh, Screamtail, and the Rillaboom. Um, I did not want to go for Trick Room because, you know, the fact that they have a uh, Amoongus is very disruptive to me. Um, and then on top of that, uh, Lugia, like I said, is not going to be good because I would have to deal with not only the Calyrex Ice, but also the Golden Go and the Urshifu, um, which was Urshifu Dark. So, um, I will admit, I, I, looking back on it, and this is another battle that I probably could have lost, but I won on timer. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and hit play. So I will be leading Rillaboom and the Screamtail. Now they lead with Incineroar and Raging Bolt. Now my Grass terrain, terrain comes in first, which means I'm, I'm the fastest thing on the, on the field uh, in terms of abilities, right? So Grass Terrain comes first, then Intimidate, then my Photosynthesis activates. Uh, and then at this point, I knew that it was an Assault Vest uh, Raging Bolt, so I wanted to see if I can get rid of it um, as a special bolt uh, ahead of time. So I, instead of going for Fake Out, which I could have done, realistically speaking, um, I instead go for the Knock Off on the Raging Bolt, and the Incineroar goes for Knock Off on my Rillaboom after the Electro Web comes um, This 
honestly is a problem because now my Rillaboom isn't as tanky as it can be, uh, which is obviously gonna hurt me in the long run, but it is what it is, right? I couldn't do anything to stop it unless I, man, I could've gone for fake out on the Incineroar, really, so to speak. But, um, so I, this point, um, I, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is, uh, this, yeah, this is my disable screen tail. So I disabled the electro web, so I can't use it anymore. I U-turn now. Um, I'm going to my Registeel. And this is one of those things where, realistically speaking, thinking back on it, what I should have done is disable the knockoff on the Incineroar because that would have helped me keep my Registeel's um, leftovers, which is one of the is, is, a, is a necessary thing because I don't have recovery on my skill. I don't have leftovers because I don't have a way to give it back HP. Like I don't have a, a Moongus with um, what you call it the Pollen Puff, and I don't have Aura Healing, which is the other uh, move that is fairly common uh, in VGC. And I don't have Heal Pulse either, so I don't have a way to recover my Ready Steel HP except for the Grassy Train, and that's not very reliable, right? So realistically speaking, I probably should have gotten rid of this thing's uh, knockoff, but I didn't I didn't think that far ahead, okay? So um, I go for the Dazzling Gleam because now my, my Scream Tail is basically neutered because I can't use anything else because I'm taunted. Um, and then they're gonna go for the Roll Switch on my Scream Tail, which takes up like a champ. And then I go for the Body Press um, to the Incineroar. Now, if I had gotten the the knockoff uh, disabled, I would have been able to go for the uh, iron defense here without any worries. But obviously, I wasn't able to do that because I prioritized the raging bolt, which I don't think was even necessary, personally speaking. So I go ahead and and Mungus is here, so I'm gonna protect my Registeel and then switch into Rillaboom just to stop uh, the Spore from happening. Um, they go for the Parting Shot on my Rillaboom, on, which is fine. Um, and I make a play here where I go for the Fake Out on the Amoongus um, and then switch into my Scream Tail because I'm trying to stop it from being able to use Spore, right? Um, they do kill my Rillaboom here, which again, is all because I didn't have access to um, my Assault Vest anymore. Raging Bolt is very strong. So I go back to Rage Seal and I can set up a little bit. I disable the support so I can't, you know, put my switch anymore. Um, and then the cinema comes in. They do go for the Pollen Puff, however, uh, instead of the, the Spore. So this was a play that they, you know, they made accordingly. Um, then they go back into Raging Bolt and I go for the Protect. Um, and they go for the Parting Shot. And honestly, right here, I did make a mistake. Okay. I think, like, I should have killed this Incineroar because before, um, when I was just at neutral, right, I did, how much was it? I did 55% to this Incineroar. So realistically speaking, at this juncture, I should have body pressed because I was already at plus two. Um, and while it might not have killed per se, I would have been able to stop it um, from doing anything else. So. That's my bad, okay? That's, I made a mistake there. I should have attacked this thing. Um, it does go for the Terra Ghost later, which is why I'm saying I should have done it right, to, right this instance, because I potentially could have killed this thing, um, is my whole point. Like, I wouldn't have to worry about it in the long run. Um, so they go for the Terra Ghost here. Uh, I disable the parting shot so they can't switch out. And then, um, like, and then I, because I didn't go for Terra Ghost the prior turn. Um, I kind of fucked up there. Um, and then I go for the body press on the Amoongus, that's 42%. But Rocky Helmet is not really helping me and now I'm asleep. So this is one of those initial problems uh, that I was dealing with. Um, I go for the disable so they can't score anything else. Um, which is, you know, where the issue lies with all this stuff. And it's just a constant back and forth now. Um, I go for the Protect just to scout what they're going to do. They do go for the Draco Meter, which doesn't really do much to my Registeel because I'm tanky as hell. But I also got unlucky here because I got like a three turn sleep, um, which was like, that's fucked up because I could have done something. Um, and so it, it's just, 
it's annoying, <laughs> okay? I got a three turn sleep there, which put me in a hindrance. Um, and then I disabled the rage fire because they, they knew what was coming. Um, and then, I don't remember what happened here. Do I attack the Raging Bolt? I feel like I should have. No, I attacked the Moongus because I wasn't expecting the switch. But And then I go to Ting Lu here. Um, so I revealed all four of my wands. They've only revealed three. And I'm just trying to get chip damage at this point. Um, Draco Meter's not going to do much to my Ting Lu because my Ting Lu is uh, very, you know, defensive. Um, and then go for some Dazzling Wing, get, go for the payback because I don't have a better move <laughs> for this stupid thing. Um, and then they go to the Urshi Pool. Now, I go for the Terra Poison here, right? And the only reason why I went for this fight is because I knew for a fact he was going to go for the fighting move. Okay, I, knew, I, I just knew it from the bottom of my heart that they were going to go for the fighting type move here. And that meant that I was safe for this turn, right? I, I knew I was going to be okay for this turn. So I go for the Dazzling Gleam, um, and then the close combat comes in, doesn't do anything at all to me. Um, and then I go for the Stompy Tantrum because the Rage Fire comes in. But at this point, the game is uh over. I'll show you guys. Because at this point, they were running out of time. Since this was a tournament match, there was a timer. Um, and they were taking too long in like the past like three turns. So their timer was really going down. Um, and so as soon as I killed their Urshifu, they basically ran out of time because they didn't pick them on quick enough. But I do think they would have won. Personally speaking, I do think they, they had this win because I no longer have an immunity to electric, right? So uh, the Raging Bolt is just gonna demolish everything I have. Um, and I don't have anything for Incineroar, right, at this point. And the movie just also walls everything. So I, realistically speaking, lost this battle in my mind. Okay, thinking back on it. I definitely lost this battle. However, I do think I, that like, in hindsight, right? Neither one of us brought our restricted, so that says a lot, right? I do think that, like, now me seeing this nowadays, I would have played this way differently, and this would have led to me potentially doing much better in the future, honestly. And like I said, this team is old, okay? I've, I've made way more teams since then, so it's, it's one of those things where, as over time, I've gotten better and have studying more, um, which helps me out in the long run. So, uh, I think we can move on to the next battle, so I'll see you there. Now my round four opponent had a Calyrex Eyes Trick Room team, which is something that I was kind of getting used to and I kind of understand, right? Uh, and for the most part, I had a game plan going in, but still is always going to be my, my answer to a lot of these physical offensive threats. I do think I made a mistake in the beginning where I tear my, my register, but we'll get to that in a second. Because um, I don't think I really needed to do that at the beginning of the battle, but it is what it is. So essentially, so we're going to kick this off. I do lead uh, Registeel and the Tinglu, and this is where I, what I mean that I, I don't know why, <laughs> I literally do not understand why. I go for the Terra here. This is like completely unnecessary, especially since I protected my Ting Lu. This person can't kill Registeel in one hit uh, with a high horsepower right now. On top of the fact, because they're they're leading in DD, this is meant to be like, oh, I'm gonna trick them here. So my safe play, which you know, which is what I did, was uh, if I if I was gonna protect Ting Lu anyways, I could have just gone for something else. I, I payback maybe I don't know heavy slam some something else. I should have gone for something else is my point. Because uh, I am gonna start setting up my register here, and like I said, I don't, I didn't need to water Terra here uh, at all. It, it was completely unnecessary. So uh, they, they do end up going for the trick room after I go for my, my iron defense. I switch out my Tin Lu because I don't, I don't want to deal with it. Uh, they go for the follow me again. Like I said, they're trying to set up their Calyrex, but I, I'm, I'm not worried about it. Okay, my register is gonna become a tank to, to be reckoned with. Um, I do notice here that I I had protected my screen, so I don't know why I didn't do that. I don't know why I wasn't trying to waste trick room turn here, because um, I could have done that. And honestly, I don't know why I went for protect. There's nothing that this Calyx Ice can do to me. I, yes, it's at plus two, but I'm at plus four, and I'm a Registeel, and uh, they they only like high host power isn't going to do anything, and Glacial Lens isn't going to do anything. So 
there's no reason for me to protect Reggie still here, just like there's no reason for me to do anything with my Screamtail here. So the correct play here is protect Screamtail and then body press the the Calyrex Ice or the Indeedee, right? Either one works because at this point I'm okay. And then what I can just do afterwards is, because um, Screamtail lives this, like it doesn't live it well, but if I had done it the other way, I could have just disabled the Calyrex uh, Glacial Lance and then I'm I'm golden at that point. Um, Ogre Pond does try to, to uh, do something here, um, but like I said, they're not doing anything. Like, my red steel is too tanky. Uh, even if I was steel type there, it wouldn't have done enough. And, even, and you know, the, the high horsepower wasn't going to do anything either. Because, like I said, I'm at plus four. Um, and then the, like, I'm weakening myself to the overpond, but even then, it's still not doing anything. Like, 90% is fucking nothing. Um, and then I, I sacrifice my skin because at this point, I don't fucking need it. Um, they get the chilling day, but, like I said, I, I could have played this completely different. This. I could have killed this Calyrex without it killing my, my screen. That, that's my, the main crutch of my argument here, okay? There was no need for me to protect my still when I did, because they weren't going to do anything to me anyways, right? So that was a misplay on my part, but... So I lose my screen tail without it doing absolutely anything in this battle. But realistically speaking, I didn't really need it in the long run. So now the Ogre Pond is still doing, you know, its thing. Um, and then I go into Rollaboom. They go into Ndidi. Uh, because I switch in first, because I'm faster, right? Um, obviously, the grassy terrain is going to happen first. And then their, um, whatchamacallit, their psychic surge is going to happen. So, I, I'm i not going to go for fake out here, obviously, because I can't. But I am going to be able to knock this thing off. And, again, I don't understand why I'm going to protect right now with Registeel. Because they're not doing anything, right? There's no reason for me protecting Registeel here, because... I live every hit. Granted, they could like crit me, I guess, to some extent, but at the end of the day, it's not gonna do much anyways. So I protect, I go for a knockoff. Now the Indeedee doesn't have his rocket helmet anymore, which means I'm free to go. Um, they are gonna, okay, so th this is this was interesting um, from their perspective, honestly. They are gonna set up the trick room because they're trying to win uh, with a late game Pokemon. It might be the Torkoal, it might be the Ursaluna. I don't know which one it is at this point in time, but I do know that if I save my Rillaboom here, then I'm perfectly fine because I basically have a free, like, grassy terrain boosted uh, grassy glide at some point if I need it. Um, but the Ogre Pond, I'm gonna switch out with U turn and then I'm gonna kill it with the body press and then my tingle is going to come in and honestly i do admit the tingle is probably the reason why i um i survived this i do okay again this is another miss i won this battle anyways but i'm just thinking like i didn't need to do any of the stuff that i did here okay because they go for the helping hand terror fire uh eruption i live this and honestly if i didn't protect tingle then it wouldn't have done as much to my register because then it goes from like a uh, double, you know, attack. It goes into a single target, right? So I, if I hadn't protected my Tinglu, I honestly I could have protected both of them uh, in this one turn just to just to deal with that. But or I honestly should have just attacked with both. I, I attack with like let's just say for 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 sakes, right? I go for body press with with Registeel and stomping tantrum with Tinglu, right? Just just. To, to give you an idea because it goes from being single target to being double target so the power level is uh decreased and on top of that i do extra damage right so it, even if like assuming they go for follow me right my registeel is faster than my tinglu in trick room if i remember correctly i can probably check the speed that um uh, actually i can't hear but i'm pretty sure my tinglu is faster than my registeel so meaning that in trick room my registeel is 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 faster so even if they went for the follow me play, whatever, um, I kill the Ndidi and then I do damage to the Torkoal um, with the Zombie Tantrum. So I, I def either way, right? Either way, there was no reason for me to protect my Tingle here, um, but I still do enough damage to the Torkoal to where it, they can't use their option anymore. Um, and then I'm not worried. And then I go for the Protect on Rage Steel because now I'm trying to avoid dying. They go for the follow me. Uh, Flamethrower is not going to do much 
for me anyways and then i don't kill the ndd because zombie tantrum is not that strong if it's like the first hit um and then i kill the torkoal with body press and then kill the ndd with the other thing so realistically speaking a lot of misplays on my end okay well not necessarily misplays uh, there's different things i could have done to make the matchup easier for me um i guess is what i'm trying to say um i like i said I, at a certain point i didn't really think that registeel needed to be terror at all right i wasn't in danger from anything at the beginning of the battle so the fact that i i tear it so early was kind of like disadvantageous for me so in the future obviously if i get into a situation like this granted like i said i don't even have this team anymore well i have it, but i'm not using it there's definitely different things that i'm i'm gonna do in the future if i run into a matchup similar to this uh with the way i i handle you know my moms right so that's it for round four let's continue on to the next round all right so my semi-final match was against uh interesting maride on team um <laughs> I have to say, okay, mindset wise, I'm definitely different than I used to be, okay? Because nowadays, I definitely, this would be a Lugia game, right? In my mind, this would be a Lugia game. Especially this one, I don't know why I didn't fucking do it, because I have Terra Ground on my Lugia, but <laughs> I think I was just worried about the bundle and, and the Fluttermane, maybe? I, I, I don't, <laughs> I really don't know why why I went with like the Registeel game plan here. Um, so essentially, this, my Lugia is supposed to deal with every Maridon, right? That's the mindset I used to have for this this matchup in particular way back then, you know, two months ago, right? Um, I mean, I still think that way now, except I play it a little bit differently. But that's besides the point. That's not what you guys are here to listen to, okay? You're talking, you want me to talk about this tournament, okay? Not my mindset now. Although I might make that a video in the future. I don't fucking know. Anyways. So this time, <laughs> I still went with like the Registeel core for this battle. Um, I don't think Rigiraf was a good play here. And like I said, I was afraid to even touch my Lugia for this battle. So I went with Ting Lu and, and Rillaboom. And then I had Registeel and Screamtail on the back. So it was a fun battle. Um, I do think they could have won, thinking back on it and, and looking at how I played out in the end. I think that they could have won still, but I think they were afraid of what I was planning on doing, right? So here's what ended up happening. Like I said, I led with Rillaboom and Tinglu, expecting the Maridon lead because usually this, these type of teams always lead Maridon. Um, and then I saw that, you know, my Grassy Train obviously goes first, right? So I'm obviously gonna deal with that, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna be faster than Incineroar. Most of the time, I think Rillaboom's always gonna be faster than Incineroar unless you have like minimum speed Rillaboom and they're like a lot of speed invested on Incineroar, which you normally don't wanna do. So I knew the Fake Out was gonna be an easy play here. So essentially what ends up happening is that I switch into my Registeel, um, they go for the Protect, um, and then I fake out the Incineroar. Now, my Registeel is always supposed to be here to deal with the Fluttermanes, and that's, that was my mindset back in the day, because like, I need something to hit Fluttermane really, really hard, so that's why Registeel was always, was always my go-to answer, because I never had anything that was going to be able to deal with it in that way right um but i definitely made a misplay here at the beginning of the battle because what ended up happening is i i honestly i didn't there was no need for me to go to for u-turn here with Rillaboom. i should have just switched into tingle right and and that would have made this so much easier because the flutter main goes for shadow ball this 29 percent right which is a lot right it's a lot for the type of registeel that i am running right so that was scary and then on top of that I go for the U-turn, right? They switch into my Tinglu. And then they hit me with a Flare Blitz, which does a shit ton, right? And this is what I'm talking about. Like, if I had gone to Tinglu first, then the Fluttermane would have only done, at most, like, maybe 15%, right? Um, and then, you know, the, the Flare Blitz, you know, is still gonna do a decent chunk. But I would have been able to live it a lot easier and a lot more comfortably. So this play that I do <laughs> that I do here where I go for the iron defense just because I'm trying to get pinky, but um, I still tend, I can technically live a Shadow Ball from this range, but I'm not, I'm not trying to die here because it's Incineroar because it's still going to do a lot from this range. Um, so I am going to go for the safe protect here. They go for the protect on Flutter Main, which is like whatever. Um, and then uh, they go for the U-turn on Tinglu. And I kind of, I didn't call this, okay? I didn't expect them right on to switch in here, okay? That wasn't 
that wasn't a play at all. I was just trying to hit the fucking Incineroar. <laughs> so I go for the Stomping Tantrum, but I do like 40 something percent uh, or 55 percent to this Murata, which like I guess I wasn't even expecting to do, <laughs> to do that type of damage, but I just have <laughs> to be able to do that. Um, and then I switch into Rillaboom Boom because I'm trying to get rid of the Electric Train. Obviously, we don't want Electric Train in this battle okay, at all. We want to weaken this Marauder as much as possible. So I've revealed three mods at this point, obviously. This person's probably thinking, okay, who the fuck is the last mod? The, 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 the restrictor has to be, right? So that's probably the mindset that they were probably thinking. They go for the Terra Electric Electro Drift into my Rillaboom Boom slot, which is my, my, was my Registeel, um, which would have killed me, honestly. I'm pretty sure he was Vex, right? No, he was Cold. Oh, this is the calm one. Okay, whatever. It's, it's, I don't fucking care, okay? The point stands, right, that my Rillaboom comes in, takes like no damage from this thing, um, and then they go for Moonblast on my Tinglu, because I'm pretty sure it was Focus. No, it's PT Play. Something was Focus Axe on this team. Oh, I think the bundle, right? Yeah, the bundle was Focus Axe. But anyways, that's besides the point. Um, I'm basically killing this Mirai on the free here because I didn't want to tear. Okay, I'm back. Okay, <laughs> I actually clicked the first turn button again. Okay, but um, my, <laughs> what I was trying to say is I didn't want to tear out my Tinglu here in case they targeted the Tinglu, right? So I I did this. I kept my my ground typing just for this this particular turn in particular. This particular turn in particular. What the fuck is wrong with this horse? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Listen, okay, I didn't go for the Terra here because I wanted to guarantee live whatever the Murata went for if it went for a move like that, right? Dragon Pulse wasn't going to do anything and Electro Drift could have done something. Um, but I, I just decided to kill the, the, the Murata is now no more, which means that right now, the way I, the way everything is, I have no reason not to tear my Ting Lu, right? Because now I wall the Flutter Man, okay, with, with my Terra Poison, um, Rillaboom, can deal with it no problem right um i'm not scared of the clefairy right because uh, you know i have heavy slime and shit like that and i'm not i don't think that the yeah their their further off wasn't going to be able to do much anyways um but that's surprising okay the thing is that i get some you know hp recovery and all that stuff um i do believe i go yeah I went, i'm trying to get more hp here um i go for the fake out on Tenor, which is like whatever okay that wasn't really necessary at all um and then I do believe I go for the Terra... Yeah, I go for the Terra Poison here. And Sonora can't kill my Rillaboom here, right? So I'm not scared of it doing anything egregious. Um, and they can't kill my Tinglu the way it is right now, okay? So this is what ends up, hap ends up happening in this turn. I do get a crit here, which might have mattered. I'm not sure, maybe, because I was, I was minus one, right? So it might have mattered, but I don't know how much... Um, bulk this Fluttermane had. Um, so the knockoff does 93%, which is a lot, but I think that I still would have killed it, right? With the heavy slime here. Um, I'm thinking back on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because I, mean, I did 7% because that's all the HP they had left, but I'm pretty sure even at minus one, I still do like 30%. So realistically speaking, I think I was still fine. Right? Um, and then, like, like I said, I, my Rillaboom was tanky, so I, I wasn't afraid to die to the Incineroar. Um, and then this is where they reveal their last one is the, the, uh, the Iron Bundle. Um, and so here is... I knew they were going to protect it. I, th there's no reason for them to not protect, because obviously I'm still in Grassy Terrain, which means I could still do like a lot with uh, Grassy Glide on the Iron Bundle. Um, so I make the sw save switch into my screen tail here, um, and then they go for the protect. I go for the protect. I'm gonna just get more HP and all that stuff. They go for the U-turn, and at this point, I they, they do forfeit. Now, when I when I say they could have still won this, um, my Ting was at 34%, right? My Red Steel is at 33%, and my Rillaboom is at 11, right? So realistically speaking. This Incineroar can still do a lot, right? Like at most, I guess. Like if I, you know, protect my my screen to her, I switch out my Tinglu into to like Registeel or some shit. I don't know. Maybe that that, that could do something. Um, and then I just disable the Flare Blitz or the, the Hydro Pump or, or something. I I don't know. Um, but there's definitely a a world where the bundle still wins this 
Um, and it's not like my screen still has all the tags in the world, right? I am faster than everything right now, but like, I, I don't know. There's definitely some way that they still could have won this, um, but maybe they just couldn't see it in the moment. I don't know. I, I, I honestly, I, I do not know. But overall, I, I think I played this relatively good, um, uh, except for like the Reggie still play. Okay, I didn't, I didn't need to go fire on defense there. Um, I honestly just could have killed the Flutter Man, to be perfectly honest. Um, because I think with the amount of att attack investment I had, it's practically an Oko. I'm, I'm not, or some, it was close enough. I'm pretty sure I would have been fine. But anyways, um, or I could have just body pressed the fucking uh, Incineroar. Like there was no reason for me to go <laughs> for the fucking um, iron defense there. Like I didn't, I didn't need the the defense right there. So, but anyways, that's it for the semi-final round. Now let's get to the finals. All right, we have arrived at the finals of this showdown tournament that happened all the way back in May 18th. Okay, listen, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that this is so late. But I will I will say this was a good one. Okay, you guys are gonna love this one. <laughs> now again, there's a calorized ice on the opposite side of the field. This is a Registeel game, hands down. Now I don't recall if this was Urshifu Dark. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this real quick. I'm gonna show you the leads, but um Okay, it was it was uh Urshifu Dark. So um I don't know. I didn't think they were gonna bring it. Personally speaking, they might have. Honestly, I think they would have been a good bring for them. Um, so I just let this start off and shit like that. Um, so you'll see my leads register for draft. Like I said, I honestly don't recall why I bought bird draft in this match. Because um, realistically speaking, I don't think it helped me with anything. <laughs> um, I guess my only thing was I was afraid of having Tingu uh, deal with Ogre Pond. Or Shifu Dark and the um, Ursa Luna Blood Moon, on top of the fact that I have a Fluttermane to deal with. So I think that might have been the reason why I didn't bring Tinglu in this match. Um, so you'll see it soon that it, it was Regis Steel, Rillaboom, uh, Screen Tail, and Bridge Rock. So <laughs> the, the weird thing is, um, is they lead Calyrex and, and Indeed, which is like standard lead at least back you know two months ago, right? Right now the matter is completely different. You will never see a player like this. But I mean, I think you still do, honestly. Thinking back on it, I'm pretty sure you do. Anyways, that's besides the point. You guys don't fucking care about any of that. But my point still stands that this is uh, a very standard team composition round days. And the funny thing is that I re replayed the, the the battle before I started recording, and I did it correct in the beginning of of how I wanted to handle this. But I, I don't know, I still messed up later. But again, there's, that's, you guys will see it, okay? But in this case, they, I go for the Dazzling Leam, I think just trying to get the chip damage, and then I go for the Iron Defense on my Red Steel. Uh, they go for the Glacial Lens, which does a lot to my Bridge Rush, okay? They, they do a lot, right? Which, you know, expected, okay? It's a fucking Calyrex, and Fridge, I don't think my Fridge Rush was that physically defensive. I think it was more, um, specially defensive to deal with, Calyrex Shadow. I'm trying to recall. Um, I would have to go back to my team builder to, to, to find out what the hell this red draft was supposed to do. Because at this point, I don't fucking remember. I know it's supposed to be like a helping hand person, right? To, to, to do a lot of stuff. Um, which is what I, I ended up doing not this turn, but the next turn. So here, again, I don't know why I'm going for the Terra here. There's, <laughs> there's no reason for me to go for the Water Terra because I resist Glacial Land, right? We all saw it, it did like 8% to <laughs> do my Reggie Steel. Uh, when I was a steel type, and honestly, I think it was just like, oh, I was afraid of the high horsepower. But dude, like, first of all, they're not gonna go for it right now, okay? Second, you're a plus two defense. You're not gonna. Okay, this is me yelling at Passorus, okay? Just so you know, that's what I'm talking about. They're, and especially because I go for another iron defense here, anyways, right? So, <laughs> like, there was no reason whatsoever for me to go for the Terra Water at this juncture at all, right? So they go for the Trick Room, that's like, whatever, I don't give a fuck. So I go for the Helping Hand, they go for the Follow Me, which means I wanna kill this in DD, like, immediately. Um, by the way, okay, I wanna state this, because after it happens, I, I killed this in DD, right? Hands down. The person, this person was shocked and surprised that the in died, 
And in the back of my mind, I'm like, why would that surprise you? I'm plus four with helping handles. Like, what? What? Like, excuse me? That, how did you not think that was gonna kill? Um, and then I go to Rillaboom, so now I have priority. Okay, listen. I This, this is a straight up Registeel. I, everything else on my team is, I think, just dies. Okay? Because what ends up happening is I go for the fake out just to stop the search of Luna, because I want to kill it, right? And then they go for the Glacial Lance, my Rillaboom is, is, you know, is dead. Um, and then I go for the body price on the Calyrex, so it's 56%. And I don't know if they just didn't expect my Registeel to still be slower than Ursaluna, right? Because they're they're life warp, right? But I think they have some speed EVs or something, because I'm slow as fuck, right? So what ends up happening here is that I go to Scream Tail, I'm not gonna Okay, listen, I'm not gonna let my Scream Tail die just yet. <laughs> okay. So I go <laughs> I go for the protect. They go, the Calyrex goes for Glacial Lines, it does nothing. Like, I, again, it's at plus two and it's still doing like 12%. Even if I was a Steel type, the, the, the fucking high horsepower wasn't gonna do shit anyway. But this is what I'm talking about. Like, I, I, I'm i slower than his Ursa Luna, so I just kill it. It's dead, right? It's, it's gone bye-bye. Um, and then they go to, to Flutter Me, um, and they go for the Terra Fairy. Uh, I tried to get a double protect, because I'm trying to like stop the, like be faster and trick them, I guess. I don't know. Well, be faster outside of Trick Room. Um, so they go for the Glacial Lens, does a lot. But like I said, I'm still the second slowest thing. And then I kill the Fluttermane with Heavy Slam, which is what I'm talking about earlier in, in the previous battle. I should have just killed the the Fluttermane right then and there, right? I didn't need to go for the, body, the Iron Defense. I could have just gone for the Heavy Slam and just killed the thing. But at this point, the matchup is pretty much done, okay? They do go for the Protect here. Um, to, at this point, the game was done. Okay, they weren't gonna, they weren't gonna win this battle at this point. Um, I tried to go for the disable just to stop them from going for the glacial lance, but realistically speaking, I didn't need to do that at all because what ends up happening is I go for the protect again, right? And then I go for the body press. They go for the glacial lance, which doesn't do anything. I can try to disable it, but I think I just go for the dazzling gleam, right? I should have just gone that. Right? There was no reason for me to protect that. I could have just killed. Yeah. So if I'd done that before, like I would have just killed it in the fire turn. That's that's a whole other point. But basically, that's that's how I won. <laughs> um, Reggie still was the MVP. But like I said, I didn't need to go for the terror there at all. Like uh, maybe maybe I could have saved it for when the Ursaluna uh, came in. But I could have just gone for like terror. Like if I had done that right i could have gone for the terra fire um on my Rillaboom, which i'm pretty sure it was right yeah it was terra fire which means i would have been able to resist the the glacial lands um and at that point regardless of what happens um i can just do something else against it like there was a lot of different plays i could have done right i didn't need to tear out my register still at all right it was completely unnecessary um there was definitely like different plays i could have done because of that um but overall, like, I did it, right? I won. <laughs> so, well, I guess, who cares, right? I still won, but for somebody who's trying to, to improve, right, and, and learn and get better, this is the type of stuff that I need to be pointing out, which is why I love the fact that if I practice on Showdown, I have replays, because the problem with playing on the, the, you know, the console is that there's no replay functionality, so if I have a battle on the Switch, I don't have a way to, you know, properly like study it because there's no footage I can watch okay I don't have a capture card I don't have nothing so that's basically my whole stand on it so I'm gonna cut back to myself right in, in person I you know I'll get there um to do like an an outro type of stuff um and we'll go from there well everybody that's basically my tournament run uh this tournament like I said well I've, as I've been saying throughout the video I actually happened back in May you see me, I'm different than I was in the intro. Okay, right now it's November as <laughs> I'm recording this last portion because it's taken me a long time to make this video uh, because of a lot of trial and tribulations and stuff like that that happened, right? So I apologize for the long delay, okay? I've been in another tournament since this one happened, which I have to start working on the script for that one. And then I have another thing for that's VGC related that I participated in, which I also have to make a video for. So it's just a bunch of 
wild stuff has been going on. However, I hope that you were able to enjoy this journey and are looking forward to more BGC content on the channel. I do want to make an updated note. <laughs> I Throughout the video, you would have heard me talking about how the team I use for this, for this particular tournament is only like a specific version of the team. And I have like 10 other versions that I've been working on. Uh, since that time happened, which I think the, the last portion of the video I recorded back in July, right? I actually have done like four updated versions. So I'm right now like a version 15 of my regulation G team, which is in preparation for when the regulation comes back in January, right? So I'm trying to think ahead. Uh, even the team that I have right now is not finalized. I'm still not perfectly content with some of the ones I have on the team yet, right? It is still going to be a Lugia team. I just need to work the pieces out a little bit and hopefully have a better game plan going forward, right? So like I said, I'm still working on this. I participated in the Regulation H tournament. Well, actually two of them. I, I'll, t I'll talk more about that stuff when I eventually start getting into those videos. I just hope they don't take me six months to make, right? Because that's just not fair because then I'm always going to be delayed. So we don't want that. So I'm going to leave this video off here. I really want to know what you guys thought about my plays and the team or anything like that in the comment section below. And as I mentioned before, I'm trying to build a community here for BGC and minded people, right? I'm still new to this space. Um, I haven't gone to as many tournaments as I would have liked. However, I'm hoping that with more practice and a, and a larger community, this could be something that I really put more effort and time into, right? I have a link in the description to my Discord server. And in there, there's a specific chat for anything BGC related, where we talk about teams and team building ideas and talk about tournaments that are in our general vicinity. Feel free to join the, the Discord and also uh, add yourself to the role using the commands that we have in place. Other than that, I think we can leave it off there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have been your host, Soares the Crocs, and I'll see you guys in future videos, streams, shorts, and everything in between.